Hi, this is Cosmic Mike here with PeachSwatamage.com. I'm an Ayurvedic practitioner and I've owned a health food store since 99 with my wife. In these 20 years, I've studied nutrition and supplements and my passion has always been to help others balance their mind, body and spirit. And I practice exactly what I preach in the oil and are considering it. So today I want to be talking about who can take the oil, how much to take, when to take it, what to expect and how long to take it for. So the first question really comes up is, who should be taking the CBD oil? Well, technically adults, kids and pets have shown great results uh, when taking the CBD oil. Of course, it's all dependent on the concentrations, the amount taken and of course, the ailment or the issue that you're trying to address. Because CBD oil does not really address any particular health ailment. What it's really doing is balancing our phytocannabinoid system in the body, which is one of the systems that can control or controls a lot of the other systems like your digestive, your circulatory, your respiratory system. So everybody or every individual have a different effect on from the CBD oil. Now, would you be taking separate bottles for each person? No, it all depends, again, concentrations, how sensitive you are, the age, and of course, uh, if it's a pet or not. That's why we, I came up with the Cosmic CBD oil, which is basically uh, a hemp seed oil with the hemp extract, which has no colors, uh, no flavors. Um, so this way, one bottle can be used by the whole family if needed, and of course, by your pets. Now, before we get into how much we really can take, let's take a look at the concentrations that you find in most of the labels that are out there. Uh, looking at your own label, you will see that the, the milligrams in the front are 250, 1000 milligrams, 1500 milligrams, or 500 milligrams. Now, this is really not the concentration of per serving. This is really the CBD oil concentration in the full one ounce or half ounce bottle that you have. Really, if you look at the label at the back where you see the serving size, that will give you an idea how many drops does it take to give you 5 milligrams, 50 milligrams, or 100 milligrams of the CBD oil. So if you look at our bottle of the 250 milligrams CBD oil, um, there is 5 milligrams of CBD, the real CBD oil, in 12 drops. In our 1000 milligram bottle, we have 5 milligrams in just three drops. So the 250 milligrams, if you want to take 12 drops once a day, basically this will have 50 servings, so it'll last you around 50 days. With the 1,000 milligrams, five milligrams taken every day will last you about 200 days. But depending on what you're taking it for, which we'll discuss later, is depending on the milligrams that you will be taking. Now, of course, again, I want to you know, re-emphasize on this, with this case with CBD oil, more is not always better. You have to try it yourself and see how your body reacts and adjusts itself. So you may just need maybe three milligrams or somebody in the family may need 10 milligrams. And of course, if you're looking for pain, you may need a little bit more. Generally, what's out there and what's suggested is between 50 to 100 milligrams sometimes per serving which I personally do not believe is the correct way of going into taking the CBD oil. It should be started very slow because if five milligrams are giving you the benefit, why do more and why waste more of the oil? So let's now talk about how much really should be taken for certain issues that you might be uh, going through. What I have seen uh, in my studies and in my research and of course, you know, selling it to clients is anxiety, it does help with some emotional aspect, um, the emotional well-being. It does help with sleep and it can also help with some pain. And this is the order that I have seen that it helps. With anxiety and emotional well-being, maybe a few hours, maybe a day or two. With sleep, I have seen with myself, uh, it has worked in a couple of days. But with pain, I've seen depending on the amount of pain that you may have, it can take up to three weeks, three months, or even six months. So the pain is the thing that comes really afterwards. And it could be just a, a week. So it all depends on how your body reacts 
to this particular cannabinoid and how your phytocannabinoid system really addresses it so fast. So for anxiety as such, uh, you could start with 5 milligrams to about 20 milligrams, maybe in the morning and at night. Uh, mostly in the morning because if you're feeling more anxious, uh, more nervous uh, in the day or if you have a big event coming or you'll be speaking in front of, like you know, I am speaking right now, but I haven't taken any uh, CBD as of now. Um, so you can take that in the morning, 5 milligrams. Um, start with maybe just 5 milligrams, depending on the concentration you have. Look at your bottle and see what you have. And accordingly, just do you know, the drops that are in, uh, or the five milligrams, it takes you know how many of the drops. Um, next would be sleep. Now, sleep, of course, if you're sleeping better, then the next morning you're less likely to be more anxious because when you're rested, you are more agile, more uplifted. But if you are lacking that sleep and you look at your clock in the middle of the night waking up and not to be able to sleep that you have to wake up early in the morning so you're already setting up that anxiety. For, so sleep I would maybe again go with 5 milligrams, maybe take it up to 20 milligrams depending if you've been taking a lot of sleep aids before or if you're just you know, had caffeine or if you were energized or if you, you know, just worked out and came back home of course your body is energized so you won't be able to sleep that well. So again, fix your dosage, start small, slowly gauge it up, be consistent, and that's what CBD really requires. It's not more the better, and you will see that you are sleeping deeper, and you may sleep that you're more rested. Now, it may not be the amount of hours or extended that you're sleeping, but of course, the quality of your sleep. Now, of course, with kids with anxiety and sleep, I would start with, again, five milligrams, a small dosage, depending on their weight, their size, um, just giving uh, them the five milligrams at night to help them to sleep, or maybe giving them five milligrams before school. I uh, personally have tried with my son when he had some wisdom to surgery. Uh, he did have a lot of swelling, and of course, he could not sleep. So I did give him up to 10, 15 milligrams at night to help him sleep which really helped a lot. Uh, he slept pretty well uh, without having too much pain and waking up in the middle of the night. For pets, again, depends on the weight, depending on what you're using it for, for anxiety, uh, if it's sleep or if it's a lot of pain. Um, you can gauge it a little bit by the pounds. And of course, you can give us a call or call me anytime. Uh, that's what I'm there for. So there is really no fixed dosage for anxiety and sleep. It all, again, is dependent on your system, how quick, how sensitive, and how fast it reacts to the CBD oil. So please do start with just a few drops, morning, test it, see how it works, take it in the night, take it in the morning, you can, it's not a sedative, it will not just knock you out. There is of course no THC, the THC in most of the CBD oil that's coming from hemp is between 0.01% or 0.3%. In our Cosmic CBD oil, which is a full spectrum CBD oil, there is only 0.01% THC. Therefore, we can claim for it to have be totally THC free where there is no psychoactive effect. Now, taking it for pain, generally I've seen the pain being relieved for a few different, you know, for for a few people at different stages, different timings, it could take one day, it could take a week, it could maybe take a month, depending of course the type of pain, where the pain is, where it's coming from, and how able, how you are able to tolerate that pain. So you would start again with five milligrams, maybe taking up to 50 milligrams. But again, more is not better. As you can achieve, just try to be consistent, and we'll be talking more about how long to take it um, in, later in this video, but basically, being consistent, taking it, waiting, and it will adjust accordingly. Sometimes your body may take a little longer to adjust for the pain. And the pain, of course, it could be a simple thing as a headache. It could be uh, arthritic pain. It could be an injury. Uh, it could also be just a bruise or a pain. Again, with pain, the results could be very 
uh, insane, uh, you know, very quick. Uh, it could be just a few hours, it could be days, it could be also weeks. So depending on uh, what type of pain. Now generally in our cosmic, the 250 milligrams, we have five milligrams in 12 drops. So you could just start with those 12 drops in the morning, in the afternoon, and of course at night. Um, with the thousand milligrams, there's five milligrams in just three drops. So you could just take those three drops morning, afternoon, and night. Of course, when for sleep, you would take it only for sleep at night, which would be at least one hour before sleeping. Uh, or just as you begin going to bed, uh, one hour. Now we're talking about when to take the wolf. Well, of course, depending, you can take it in the morning, you can take it in the mid-afternoon, you can also take it at night. Uh, definitely for sleep, you want to take it at night. For anxiety, you can take it throughout the day. Um, now, how many times a day? You could just do it two, three times a day, or maybe just once a day at night for sleep. If it's pain, you can take it maybe every few hours, every four hours. Uh, again, more is not better, but just being consistent with taking the oil. Uh, with our CBD oil, uh, generally we're, we suggest taking a quarter of a dropper full under the tongue, or you swallow it, but generally under the tongue, morning and night. Now this oil, I would not suggest to be mixing with shakes or in your food or in a glass of water. It's best to take the dropper and put it straight under your tongue because this way you're not wasting the oil at all and it gets directly into your system. Now soft gels are out there also. Um, there is a little bit layback in the soft gels to how quick they're absorbed plus they may have uh, a gelatin, they may have some other binders or fillers in, in the soft gel or the capsule. Uh, plus, the soft gel, when you swallow, it does have to go through the digestive system where it could take a bit longer for it to be absorbed. And not everybody's digestive system is as clear, as, as clean, or able to be absorbed, or able to absorb everything 100%. So that's why taking the oil directly under your tongue is a better way, more efficient way, and a best absorbed way taking the oil without any flavors or colorings. Of course, uh, this is a full spectrum CBD from hemp seed oil as a carrier. Now, how to store the cosmic CBD oil? Because we do not have any preservatives, I would suggest once you open the bottle, this should be used between 60 to 90 days. Um, it can be stored in the fridge, but in Ayurveda, Oils are not supposed to be taken cold because they're less likely to be absorbed. They should be in room temperature and taken sublingually. Um, for kids, you can also definitely uh, mix with yogurt if needed or just give them in a teaspoon. But please do not mix it in shakes, in smoothies, and of course in any glass of water because it will just wasting the expensive CBD oil. Now the brands of CBD oil that do have MCT oil or olive oil or coconut oil with them, those can be stored or used for a longer period of time because this, the MCT and the coconut oils are acting as natural preservatives. The last question, of course, is how long to keep taking this oil? Well, it all depends, of course, on what you're taking it for. But my suggestion is always to take it, maybe do it through the week, Monday through Friday, and do not take it on Saturday, Sunday. And then, of course, take it for a month and maybe not take it for a week and then restart. Because the goal of to achieve proper health is to always make this as strong as possible, meaning we're able to withstand whatever changes in our environment are coming. And we should not be dependent on either this or any other medications or supplements. Um, generally, when the body is taking something straight for 28 days to 38 days, it feels or it takes it as food and it will start absorbing some of it but it'll start wasting a lot of it and removing it in your bowels so being consistent is good but keeping away for a short period of time is always better because you give the body a chance to adjust itself so remember cbd is trying to adjust the phytocannabinoid which is of course adjusting all the other systems 
And that is all our goal should be, is to bring everything back into balance and is in medical terms is homeostatus. Everything in homeostatus functions to the extreme to the best. So I hope I uh, covered you know, the who, how, when, and where to take the CBD oil. Um, if you do have any questions, of course, please go to our link below where you can see our CBD page where I have written an ebook you can download. And of course, you can set up a 10 minute consultation with me uh, to understand how you should be taking the CBD oil. It doesn't matter if you've taken a brand already or if you already have a brand, but please do like and subscribe because next week we'll be doing a live YouTube Q&A with people that are using CBD oil or have any questions regarding the CBD oil. And hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.